Hello, my lovely little coffee beans. My name is Sarah. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. And today we are going to be doing my birthday book haul. It has taken so much of my own self-control to not open these packages as soon as I got them. I don't know who I am, but for some reason I was like, you know what? I am the most patient person ever and I don't need to open any of these. I don't need to, I don't need to know what they are, but I also was like, I really need to know what these are. But regardless, I held off on opening any of these packages so then I could haul them for you today in this video because if you haven't noticed, I have not posted a video in a while. I have filmed a few, a few meaning exactly two, but we're not gonna talk about that. We're talking about the books that I got for my birthday. And speaking of the books that I got for my birthday, why don't we just go ahead and get into the books that I purchased for myself for my birthday. I went to the bookstore on Tuesday for new book release Tuesday, and then I also went again with my sister to a two-story Barnes & Noble, which I'd never been to a two-story Barnes & Noble before, and wow, life-changing and I got more books that day and my sister also got me some books that day as well. So first I'm going to show you the books that I bought for myself to treat myself for my birthday and then I'll show you the books that my sister got for me for my birthday and then I will show you the books that I have not seen yet, the books that I have in this stack of Amazon packages right here. So yeah, that's the order we're gonna go in. Let's just get into it. The first book that I bought for myself, I guess I'll go in order of the books I got on Tuesday and then the books I got later in the week. I don't think it really matters, but whatever. I also vlogged the week of my birthday, which will be coming out after this video. So that means these few books that I'm about to talk about, I already hauled in that video. So it's kind of a spoiler for that, but like, it's fine. It's fine. Oh my god, there's gonna be a lot of like <laughs> crinkle noises in this video. Just, it, it comes with the territory. So on new book release Tuesday, which was the 12th, I got Insomnia by Sarah Pinborough. This is my most anticipated release of the year. And as you can see, there's a bookmark, meaning I have started it. I've not finished it. I think I started it on Tuesday or Wednesday, not really sure. It is now Sunday, Easter Sunday, and I have yet to finish it, so I don't know if that tells you how much I'm enjoying it or not, but I also haven't been reading that much this week, I feel like, so it's maybe not the book's fault, but also probably maybe the book's fault. We have yet to see. There's not a lot that's happening. I also got three books that I haven't really heard a lot of people talk about. That could be a good thing or a bad thing. One of those books is Night Shift by Kiar Ladner. And I mean, this cover is just kind of everything. Like it just stood out to me because the grayscale background with the neon pink lettering, like we love to see it. And it's also just kind of like an obsessive female type story. This girl chooses to move to the night shift position because she's become infatuated with being this certain girl's friend who also works the night shift and it's kind of like a spiral from there. Seems like my kind of vibe so I'm kind of here for it. And the next book is Notes on an Execution by Dania Kukovka. I don't know if that's how you say it. I'm so sorry if it's not. It was right next to Night Shift, which is how I originally saw it. And the synopsis sounded pretty cool, pretty intriguing. Ansel is scheduled to die in 12 hours. He knows what he's done and now awaits execution. The same chilling fate he forced on those girls years ago, but Ansel doesn't want to die. He wants to be celebrated, understood. This sounds like it's going to be very hard hitting and I'm just really excited to dive into this. One. And again, I haven't heard anyone talk about it, so let me know if you've read it and leave your thoughts in the comments down below. And the last book that I got on that day, that little trip to the bookstore, is The Caretakers by Amanda Bestor Siegel. And the vibe of this cover is kind of just everything the rain, the window, the view, the font. It's kind of just everything. This book is about an au pair who has a child die on her watch and it's kind of like, did she do it? Was there foul play involved? Like what happened? It's told from a bunch of the perspectives of the neighbors. It sounds really good. And again, it just seems like my type of vibe. And then on Saturday, I got myself two books from the two-story Barnes & Noble and 
those two books are A Touch of Darkness by Scarlett St. Clair. This is a Hades and Persephone retelling. And listen, I didn't think Greek mythology was my thing, but then I read Neon Gods. And Neon Gods really changed my perspective on a lot of things. It really did because I freaking love Neon Gods and Electric Idol. Electric Idol probably more so than Neon Gods. Either way, I'm like, okay, if you can give me another Hades and Persephone smutty retelling, like I'm gonna eat it up. And that's exactly what this is. They're smut. It's Hades and Persephone. Like, need I say more? As she struggles to sow the seeds of her freedom, love for the god of the dead grows and it's forbidden. We love a forbidden romance, don't we? The last book that I got for myself is Post Traumatic by Chantal V. Johnson. And I did see this when I was at the bookstore on Tuesday. I heard Jan talk about it. I was like, but it doesn't sound good. It, do it doesn't sound great. It doesn't sound like, it doesn't, it just doesn't sound like me. She was like, what are you talking about? It sounds like acts of desperation, which we both love. And I was like, no, 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 it doesn't. No, it doesn't. And then Ever since she said that, I thought about it more and more. And when I went to Barnes and Noble on Saturday, I looked again, read the synopsis, and I was like, you're so right. It does sound like something I would like because I loved Acts of Desperation. That was my first book that I read in 2022, my first five star of the year, freaking chef's kiss. Oh my God. I just love it so much. If this is anything like that, then I know I'm gonna love this one too. And it's a five star prediction. To the outside observer, Vivian is a success story, a dedicated lawyer who advocates for mentally ill patients at a New York City psychiatric hospital. Privately, Vivian contends with the memories and after effects of her bad childhood. For years, Vivian has self-medicated with a mix of dating, dieting, and smoking weed with her BFF Jane. But after a family reunion prompts Vivian to take a bold step, she finds herself alone in new and terrifying ways, without even Jane to confide in, and she starts to unravel. Will she find a way to repair what matters most to her? It sounds kind of devastating. It's very much millennial fiction. Not like the romance side, the devastating side, and that's exactly what I want. <laughs> so I think this will be a five star read. Let me have some refreshments. Excuse me if I'm acting a little kooky, if I'm acting a little different, it's maybe because I've had like six of these today. Okay, so now let's just go into the three books that my sister got for me. First book is Sundial by Catriona Ward. This is definitely 100,000% influenced by Christine from The Rumi's Digest. Honestly, she made this book sound so freaking good. I do not know anything about this book. I don't want to really know anything about this book. I know Know this is the same author as uh, The Last House on Needless Street, which I have yet to read, but I feel like this is definitely gonna be more up my alley than that book. And the cover is so stunning. Like, we love to see it. Euphoria who? The next book is Cleopatra and Frankenstein. I saw this cover and just said, yep, that's what I need. That's what I want. That's what I need. It says it's for fans of Conversations with Friends. Conversations with Friends, I DNF previously, but I am going to come back to it, especially because the show is coming out very soon. I'm going to be rereading that starting from the beginning, but that's not what this is about. This is about Cleopatra and Frankenstein, and this may or may not be a book club pick for a book club. I don't know if it was announced yet, and I don't know if I just know this because of, you know, insider friendship things, but I just looked on the Instagram for said book club, and it's not up on the Instagram, so I don't know if I just know this because of people I know, people I interact with, like I don't know, it, it's probably not a secret, but regardless, this may or may not be a future book club pick for a certain book club, so I wanted to be ready and have this book in my hands so I could read it with said book club. I don't really know what this book is about, I'm gonna be honest. Clearly, I go into all of my books blind, or as blind as possible, because that's how I prefer it, so I feel like it's maybe frustrating for people watching <laughs> who want to know what books are about because I don't know. I don't know. I don't need to know. I just need a few certain reasons to pick up a book and I will do it. I don't need a full synopsis for most books that I read. And then the last book that my sister got for me is honestly is going to be put up on a pedestal. Like I'm going to display this book as prominently as possible. And that book is, well, it's not even really a book, but it's bound like a book. You'll get what I mean. Normal people 
the scripts. I just reread Normal People with Jan and we're re-watching the show because both of us have read the book, both of us have watched the show, but now we're re, you know, taking it back and redoing both of them. But the scripts, the scripts, come on now. And then getting to see them like on a book cover, I could cry. And like inside there are pictures from like the actual show and I'm shook. I'm actually shook. We love to see it. I just, I, I literally could cry. Like I love normal people so freaking much and I love the show so much and it's just everything. It's just everything. I'm going to read this and I'm going to count it on Goodreads. Now we can move into the, let me fix the lighting actually. Okay, now we are diving into the most exciting part of this video, which is unboxing all of the books that you guys sent me for my birthday. I just want to send out a huge thank you from the bottom of my heart. I love you all so, so much. Even if you didn't get me anything, I love you equally. And like, I never thought that people who I never met in real life would want to send me books. Like, I never thought it would be a thing. And I'm just so grateful for everything. Now I'm about to tear up. Pull it together. Pull it together. I'm just so, so thankful for each and every one of you. And yeah, you don't, you didn't have to get me anything, but you did. And I will be forever in your debt. Let's just go ahead and get into it. I hope that I can do this without flashing my address. Fingers crossed. First book. Oh my god! I'm absolutely screaming! Who is this from? <laughs> I know I saw the book and you guys didn't, but... Happy birthday again because obviously I have to feed you K.A. Night, which should be another five star. Love you and so thankful for our friendship that has blossomed from Manda. Diver's Heart by K.A. Knight. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm so freaking excited. If you don't, <laughs> if you're unaware, we read <laughs> the Literature Book Club. Our first pick was Den of Vipers and that book was a five star for me, but nobody else liked it as much as I did. And this is the same author, K.A. Knight. <laughs> Like, I'm literally screaming. It's so pretty in person, too. It's so much shorter than Den of Vipers, which is already, like, we love to see it. K.A. Knight just really knows what's up. All of these chapter pages, like, we love a diver romance. I mean, it's unlike anything I've ever read. I've never read, like, an underwater romance, but I'm here for it. Thank you so freaking much, Amanda. I love you. Wow. If you want to buddy read this, let me know. Way to kick us off. I'm so red in the face from like internally dying, but it's fine. Next one is this one. Oh my God. Listen, listen, listen. This cover is so freaking stunning. I see it at the bookstore and I'm like, I need that in my life. And now I have it. Happy birthday. I have been wanting to read this book too, so we should buddy read it. You are such an amazing person. From Rye. Oh my god. Thank you so much, Rye. Literally blushing so freaking much. Yes. Yes. Down. I'm down. Let's buddy read it because this is everything. This is amazing. I... I have no words. I have zero words. This is part of the Bargainer series. I'm joining Zahar's Fanro book club for, um, I think it's early next year is when we'll be starting this book series. But like, I'm gonna read it twice. I'm gonna read it twice. I wanna read it with you, Rai. Let's read it together. And then I will reread it for the Fanro book club. It's happening. I just, wow. Thank you so much, Rai. Literally, you're the sweetest. You do not have to do that, but thank you. Let me take a sip of my drink. I gotta calm down. On to the next book. I guess I should read the note first before I look at the book. So I'm gonna do that. Don't look at the book. Don't look at the book. Oh my god, Darian! Happy birthday, Sarah. I'm so happy we've become friends and I hope you have the best birthday ever. Love you. I love you too. I don't even know what the book is yet, but I'm already like swooning. Bruh. <laughs> Darian, you did not have to go this hard. You did not have to go this hard, but you did, and I appreciate you for it. Long Shot by Kennedy Ryan. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. 
He is stunning. The premise of this book is stunning. It's a basketball romance. It's also got a lot of cheating involved, so if you don't like that, this might not be your cup of tea. Wow, wow, wow. I could just stare into those eyes forever. I'm about to fall in love, you know what I mean? Thank you so much, Darian. I love it so much. I cannot wait to read this. The next, this is the only one that's in a box, so what shall it be? And it's gift wrap! Holy crap! It's in a little bag. Right off the bat, I'm in love. I don't know what the book is. Cat! I love you forever. Happy birthday, Sarah. I hope you enjoy this as much as I did. Okay, so it's a book she read already. What is it? What is it? I can't open it. This is too much pressure. I'm having difficulties. <gasps> oh my god! It's everything and more! Crave! I've been having my eye on this book for the longest time because Twilight is my obsession. I mean, I'm a little more low-key about it now, but if anyone brings up Twilight in a conversation, you know your girl has to pop in. This is said to be like Twilight. The vibes are immaculate. I can always count on a vampire book. I don't care if you judge me for that. I love vampires. Thank you so much, Kat. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. I'm sure that I will also love it. Next one, Jayla. Jayla! Happy birthday, Sarah. So happy that we've gotten to hang out more this year because you're so cool, funny, and easy to be around. Thanks. I love you, queen. Here's too many more memories. I really want to read this, so hopefully it slaps. Bruh. <laughs> I'm literally so excited. This Thing Between Us by Gus Moreno. Oh my god. I've been eyeing this book for so long. As you guys know, like, I read a ton of romance these days, but this, it sounds so freaking good. It sounds so disturbing and, like, mind-fucky, and I just, I want it all. Ever since Vera and Thiago bought the Itza, life has gotten strange. The ads for the world's most advanced smart speaker didn't mention scratching in the walls, eerie music in the dead of night, or peculiar- Peculiar. That's my ex used to say. Anyway. <laughs> didn't mention scratching in the walls, eerie music in the dead of night, or peculiar- Fuck! I can't say it now! Or peculiar- Peculiar. <laughs> eerie music in the dead of night, or peculiar- I cannot. Didn't mention scratching in the walls, eerie music in the dead night, or peculi peculiar. Or peculiar. <laughs> I cannot say it! I swear to God. I'm dead. Or peculiar packages. It's weird but amusing, right up until Vera is killed and Thiago's world becomes unbearable. The only thing left to do is to get as far away from Chicago as possible, but Thiago soon realizes there is no escape, not from his guilt, not from his anger, and not from the evil hunting him, feeding on his pain, looking for a way into this world. Fuck me up. Right now. Jayla, I will let you know if this is good or not. I will let you know. I will- I will- as soon as I'm done. I could read this in one sitting and I will let you know. I think this is gonna be a five star. Wow. I love you. I love you. Thank you so freaking much, Jayla. Chef's kiss. It's gonna be a whole moment. I'm ready. I am ready. Next up, I saw a sneak peek of what the book is and trying to look for the note. Catherine, oh my God. I hope you have the happiest of birthdays. She got me scarred. I'm dead. Scarred by Emily McIntyre. I recently bought myself Hooked by Emily McIntyre, and I really want to do a vlog where I read both of them, but I didn't have this one, but now I do, and I can- yes, we love to see it. Amanda is gonna be screaming and squealing and wanting updates, okay? She's gonna be wanting updates for this book because she's read Hooked and Scarred, but Scarred is her favorite out of the two. Catherine. Catherine, you just know me so freaking well and I couldn't be happier. Look how stunning. This is like a, what is it called? What is it called? Lion King retelling, reimagining, loose retelling type of situation. But like smutty, like make it smutty, obviously. Because if it doesn't have smut, Sarah has left the chat. <laughs> the girls that get it, get it. I cannot stop staring at the cover. Like it's so pretty. Catherine, you understood the assignment. I love you and I love it. And it's gonna be read 
soon, okay? I I know I say that a lot, but, like, this is gonna be read soon. Within the next two months, at least. Sorry to my TBR. I need to stop looking when I open it because I can't. <laughs> Happy birthday. Let's buddy read this. I hope you have a great day from Michelle's library. Michelle. Michelle. Yes. Yes. Immediately yes. Okay. Definitely the opposite of the Justin Bieber meme. If I figure out how to do that, I'm going to insert that clip here. Instantly, I was like, yeah, no. But like the opposite of that. Immediately, yes. Okay. Zodiac Academy. She thick. She thick. I'm gonna be on the Zodiac Academy train finally. And it's all thanks to Michelle. I mean, I know she hasn't read it, but like we're gonna read it together and we're both gonna be on the train. We're gonna be drinking the juice that is Zodiac Academy. I'm screaming. I can't, I can't wait. Like, I don't know how many books there are. I think it's a million, but here I am ready to dive in. I don't really know what this book is about. I know it's about an academy. I know there's probably like murder involved. I know there's probably scandalous things occurring. I know there's probably some romance in there. And I couldn't be more stoked, honestly. I just, I have the, I have the stranger to kiss it, but like maybe I shouldn't do that. There we go, like an air kiss. Michelle, I love you, thank you. Oh, and the spine? Girl, look at that. It's trying to focus on me. Don't focus on me, focus on the beauty. Does each one have like a different, a different, what is that? <laughs> Do I not know things? Oh, those are zodiac signs. <laughs> I was like, wait, that's a Roman numeral. It's definitely not a Roman numeral. That's a zodiac sign. Interesting because there's the zodiacs right there. I'm embarrassed. Drop all of your book plans and we're gonna buddy read Zodiac Academy. So I hope you don't, I hope, I hope you don't have any other plans because you're gonna have to drop them. The next one. I'm not gonna look this time, I promise. I'm gonna get the note first. Amanda! It's not even getting me two books. Happy birthday, bestie gal. I hope you love this one. Also, the chapter art is so good. Hawk and arrow for ever I love you hawk 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 oh my god <laughs> oh my god Falls Boys by Penelope Douglas we were just talking about this like last week and I said I wasn't interested in it and then I was like okay you've sold me anything Manda says I'm like all right okay I believe you and I will do whatever you say I will read whatever you want me to read I trust you with my life. That's just our relationship. So, I mean, if you gave this a five star, then I'm definitely at least gonna like- I mean, I hope so. We've only had differing opinions on a couple of books, which shall not be named. One really different opinion, but we seem to align most of the time, more often than not. It's so thick. It's so much thicker in person than I thought it would be. Wow. And it's so aesthetically pleasing. I guess I can't. Amanda, you spoil me! <sighs> I gotta take a deep breath. I'm gonna tear up, I swear. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And then the very last book. You better love this as much as I did and as much as I love you. Happy motherfucking birthday, cutie, from Lenore! bitch. The ones that are in the know will know, but this came from my great friend Lenore. Okay, so it's a book you've already read, so like, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. I can just open it. I don't have to like think. Closing my eyes. Why am I closing my eyes? <laughs> it's so much smaller in person than I thought it would be. It's kind of a vibe. Look at that anatomical heart on the spine. A Certain Hunger by Chelsea G. Summers. Again, this is so much thinner than I thought it would be. Like, I could read this in one setting as well. Like, I'm gonna read this and I'm gonna read this, like, together. They're so small. Like, in a good way. I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I've gotta have my highlighters out. I've gotta have all of the annotation tools ready when I read this book because as far as I know, there are so many quotable moments in this book. Jan 
freaking love this book and I just cannot wait to see if I love it too. I mean, I'm sure I will. I'm sure I will, but it's so stunning and I mean, I'm not one to clutch a heart like that, but like girl go off, you know what I mean? It's not something I would personally do, you know, like, but I get it. I get it. And I'm sure I'll get it once I read the book. It's about a food writer who loves food and also sex. And that's all I need to know. I cannot wait to read this, honestly. Like, I cannot wait. And I, this is going back to the vibes of this because very similar in vibe, okay? The covers are not the same by any means, but just for some reason they kind of remind me of each other. You could be looking at the screen right now and be like, Sarah, what are you talking about? They don't look similar at all, but to me they do and that's all that matters. You guys, I'm spoiled. Honestly, I'm so freaking excited about every single book that I got. These are all literally so high up on my TBR. You have no idea. You have no idea. I mean, I can't say it enough. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. With all that being said, with all of that being hauled, with all of that mushy gushiness, I'm going to bid you adieu. I love you all so, so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!